dogs. A pack of dogs? The four or five of them. Even first responders had a very hard time making sense of this horrific scene in Tucumcari earlier this month. New lapel camera video shows how law enforcement scrambled to help a man attacked by a pack of dogs. That man died a terrible death and the owners of the dogs are now facing serious charges. But today we are also learning more about that victim. Brianna Wilson found out why Stanley Hart relocated to Tucumcari from the Metro and shares the impact he made in his very short time in that community. Haley Place met Stan Hart for the first time at a Tucumcari grocery store during the pandemic. His first impression of the man was how grateful he was for little things like vegetables, even during a difficult time. They were still available and they were still fresh and how lucky we were to have the money to pay for him and how glad he was to be in a small town like this. Hart wrote about his love for the small town as a guest columnist for the Quay County Sun, saying he decided to leave Albuquerque two years ago, not sure of how the next part of his life should go. He had wandered between Las Cruces and Amarillo looking for a decent, affordable place to live. These are his own words. And he just looking for that amicable feeling of a sense of where he could be looking for something between the cracks in the sidewalks or beyond the faces of ordinary people he would see at the grocery store. People like Place, who are still mourning the sudden and tragic loss of their friend and fellow community member. This is not a town that someone dies on the streets, killed by a dog, and we put some flowers out and walk away. This has left our town stunned. This is a tragedy a heartbroken tragedy. That's why they're planning a memorial service for Hart. There'll be a, tra a tree planting February 26th at one o'clock on the site where he was killed. Then there's going to be a service at three o'clock at the Emanuel Baptist Church at 706 East Hines Avenue in Tucumcari, New Mexico. We have our hats in our hands and we are heartbroken. And anything we can do to help comfort his parents, his friends, his family, we're here for them. Brianna Wilson, KOB4. Now, as for the suspects who owned those dogs, officers believe Mary Montoya and her son Christopher Morris owned all five. They are both facing felony involuntary manslaughter charges.